Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for giving us this opportunity to spend time in God's Word and a few moments in prayer. This week we've been looking at the book of Proverbs and gaining insights from various aspects of this book. Today we'll cover Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 17. Better a small serving of vegetables with love than a fattened calf with hatred. What an unusual meal. Some lines in the book of Proverbs may not seem to apply to us today as we might struggle to connect them with the call to follow Jesus and to live wisely. In such cases, we must read them as reflections of life, sending us to search for wisdom as, God, as Christ's disciples. Today's proverb about a meal, though, is one, of the, is one which we can respond with a hearty amen. Having a meal together remains a time-honored expression of hospitality and friendship. The luxury of a fattened calf ordinary was reserved for special occasions. Meal times can be wonderful times of building bonds of love. They are vital to a healthy family life. Hatred should not be on that menu. The presence of love makes up for a lot. We can live on a humble diet, but can never flourish without love. King Solomon taught wisdom by comparisons, by showing one thing better than another. He taught us wise priorities. In this case, you and I should value love more than dinner and material things. Emphasizing love and peace is more important than picking the right restaurant and spending extra money. Even the poor can be happy. If a poor man wrote the proverb, who often settled for vegetables, the lesson might be despised. However, it was written by the richest king of his era, who could choose any culinary possibility every time he sat for a meal. Solomon enjoyed meals daily that a poor man could never even imagine. Yet he exalted love and peace above them. Have you ever had a meal with bitterness, hatred, contention and resentment there? You may not have even remembered what the meal was because being in that atmosphere would have caused so much of pain. Have you ever had a wonderful meal with just a few simple things because you loved the person you were with and they loved you. You may not remember what you ate, but the sweet pleasure of company still brings joy to our life. Solomon taught here in his last few words that the good life is not dependent on what you have, but rather the love you share. Godliness with contentment is great gain. During the Last Supper, Jesus said to his disciples, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. God welcomes us to this great feast for his kingdom and we do this in remembrance of him. The result will be a balm to each soul, present and joyful pleasure to every heart. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this word, we thank you, Lord, that you have given us the responsibility to choose. And we pray, God, that we will make right choices in our life. From what we have learned today, O oh God, help us to value your word, value walking in obedience to you than the pleasures of this world. We thank you, Lord, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. We commit each one of us into your hands, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.